This project we're making a watt hour meter. This will measure amps, volts, watts, hours, amp hours, and watt hours. We've started with the prototype shield that we built previously and we're adding an ACS 712 current sensor from SparkFun and the part numbers will be listed in the tutorial. Now what we've done here is we've taken the current sensor and we've pinned it to the board with the legs that we cut off the previous project from the LEDs and the resistors. And I'll turn this over and you can see the legs there. And I'm going to go ahead and solder these legs on and then clip the excess. Now I've clipped the excess wires off this side and I've clipped the excess wires off this side but I've left those two wires on there so that I have a good bridge over to the terminal strips which will be installed. Terminal strips the terminal strips come in sections like this and I've slid two of them together there's notches on the side so that you can slide them together and that makes one unit. We've got two posts for the incoming connections from the power supply which in this case will be a solar panel and we've got two connections going out to the load. I've got the terminal strip soldered in and I've got the heavy current wires jumpered over from the two center pins on the terminal strip to the current sensing pads on the current sensor. The current sensor has to pass the current through it so that's why they have to be heavy um, connections. This particular application is a small solar panel so we aren't working with real heavy currents but I wanted to make sure I had some good heavy wires on there anyway. I'll flip it over and that is where we will connect our solar panel and our load. The next step is to build a voltage divider so that we can monitor voltage. Now the voltage divider which allows us to monitor the voltage coming out of the solar panel is connected. It is a 10K resistor connected to the positive input on the terminal strip which is the same input that's connected to the current sensor. The other resistor is connected to ground. Those two resistors are connected in the center over to the A0 input. I'll turn this around so you can see some of the connections there. You've got the three legs in the center that are connected together. That's the one leg of a 10K resistor, the other leg of a 10K resistor, and then the jumper that goes over to A0. We're using two 10K resistors because we want to be able to read a maximum of 10 volts. The Arduino can only measure 5 volt input. So the two resistors will take a 10 volt input and present 5 volts to the Arduino when the maximum of 10 volts is reached. And then we'll use a calculation in our sketch to make the Arduino see a 5 volt input as being 10 volts. And we'll explain that later. So what we've done now is we have connected our ground wires to the terminal strip. Now the two center pins on that four port terminal strip are the positive wires coming in and going out. The ends are the negative wires coming in and out. Now negative also has to be grounded to the Arduino. So what we've done under here is on the top we put a yellow wire from one end to the other and then underneath we have grounded that negative post to the ground strip on the shield. That whole line there is ground. So everything that connects to that strip is grounded to the Arduino. And this will allow us to do our voltage measurements. So the next step is connecting the current sensor wires up to the Arduino so that we can read the current.
Okay, there are four connections on the bottom end of that ACS712 sensor. The one all the way to the left is ground. And you'll see a yellow wire going from that over to the right hand ground bar. The next one is filter. And that connects the ground through a capacitor. We're using a 0.1 microfarad. It calls for a 1 nanofarad. We did not have any. What that does change is the rise time on the capacitance, how often you can uh, sample. I believe this will work. Third one over is V out. That is what the pin that we are measuring. And we have that connected to analog 3 input. And then the fourth one is VCC or power. And that connects to the 5 volt, uh, 5 volt strip on the left hand side. Now that pin also connects to ground through a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. So that is the finished unit. We will be publishing the full schematic and all the connection diagrams as well as the code for this project.